Yeah, yes. Cut. All right, day three of assembly. Uh, as we went over last time, that got this up. I got a second one tapped up there, just the first row right now. I want to go over a few things we didn't go over in the last video, uh, which was screwing down the, the plywood. Uh, with this type of curvature, it might be hard to put on one or two of your sheets. So, wow, well, that camera's probably really close. So, um, what you want to start off with is when you get this down, it's going to be completely flat. You want to start off with your first two, three rows. Get some three-inch screws in there. That way, it can reach the plywood because there's going to be a pretty decent gap. It'll help you able to reach it and pull that plywood in. Then after that, you can go to two-inch screws for the rest of the sheet. And you'll just see it start just sucking up against the curve. Um, it's a little bit more difficult for us because we're using old plywood, it's all dried out. If you do get some fresh sheets or even reuse old sheets, what you can do to make it a whole lot easier is um, just put water on it. Let the water soak on it for an hour or so. That will help make it more pliable and it will be easier to bend to the transition of your warped wall. So there's just a few tips, a little things to let you guys know that we didn't go over last time. And yeah, she's looking pretty good. So um, one quick thing while we have it overlapping here and not connecting straight to here on this butt is it got um, screwed off a little bit, wasn't exactly squared so it doesn't look like much as you guys can see right here but when you put on the next one by the time it goes up that eight more feet it's about one to two inches off and you can start seeing the ribbing and this stuff off. So we're just going to overlay another straight piece, mark each edge and then cut that section off. So after we get that done, she'll be ready to move and we'll try our best to flip her up and maybe wait for another body if we can't. So that's the plans for today. Look at all the beautiful hornets. They're so pretty. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, we just finished cutting. Oh, shit. This thing's gonna break in it. So, lots of hornets. As you can see, I, I don't care for them very much. Um, what's gonna be going on here is Dad's gonna be screwing in the top portion of the ramp. And I'm gonna be cutting out uh, pieces of plywood for um, the top part of the ramp right here. And there's our clone trooper hiding inside. So I'm gonna be taking care of this right here, getting the scraps together, screwing this in, and that one man on the ramp screwing it down. So let's time lapse this again. I know you guys love time lapses. Here we go. top on we got our screwed down nice and solid and what we did is we didn't actually run this all the way up to right here we did make some boo-boos so um, we forgot to inch this up just about up here so it would meet perfectly right up there cut that nice little lip we didn't do it we did it flushed right here so that's something 
for those of you that are planning to do it, might want to incorporate and remember, extend it out a little bit. So what we did actually is we put a two by four right here. So when you run up, you have something to grab onto, we're gonna cut it just a bit short right here, round off the corner, so that way actually we have our gripping surface already built in. So that's looking pretty cool. There we go, she's starting to look like something here. So, yeah, it's gonna be beastly when we get her up, so. Um, I'm just gonna cut this off right here. Dad is still working up on there. He got a, his ninja grip is out for right now, so he, he threw a two by four down to help him step and get his function up. back and we're just about finished that is putting in the last we got this guy rocked in not exactly straight that's us though it doesn't always have to be perfect um, we cut a little bit short but that's okay this isn't a biggie what we got right here but we'll fill her in a little bit later uh, we got this guy he's sweeping up stuff a little clone trooper and we got the back end on let's wait for a second and we got this little piece up on here. So we can run, grab, and we got a grip right there. It's all good. And I just had a hornet whack the back of my neck. It's getting sketchy out here. It better be worth it. It's here. It's Christmas. You got anything to say, that? I'm speechless. Let's put it up in the air. All right, let's rock this bitch.